my, my closing thoughts are simply believe in what you've done to get to where you are, um, but don't be delusional about where, about where you are. So if you are not ready and you are receiving advice from people uh, and external assessments of people who know you well, advisors, mentors, who are suggesting that perhaps you're not ready, believe them, listen to them. It will be to your benefit. But ultimately, you, have, you, you need to be true to yourself. And no matter how long it takes you to achieve what you want, you will get there. It might take more time than what you expected. You might take pathways that you never anticipated. But that's all part of the fun. Excellent advice, I think. Paul, what about I, yourself? I don't have a whole lot to add to that other than you have to be patient in this process. You have to be incredibly patient. Um, you didn't get to this point overnight, and it's going to take time for us to go through the, mm -hmm. your application. I mean, you, you deserve the attention we give to you, but you know, we have several thousand who apply, and uh, medical schools are very careful. I think they are, at least my institution is, in reviewing applications, and it is a, an unbelievably time-consuming process. We start reviewing applications in earnest in August, and we review right through February and interview right through uh, the early part of March, so it is a, a long, drawn-out process. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's why I say you didn't get to that point overnight, and we're not going to make our decisions for you overnight either. Mm -hmm. So just be patient. Mm -hmm. Excellent advice. And I know that's hard for a lot of students. Yes, it is. It's good to be good to have it reinforced. Neto, what are your thoughts? So uh, I echo Jeff's sentiments. I mean, you really have to be realistic. I think that's really important. Um, I learned that myself, and I think it's. It's really good to hear, I mean, really listen to your advisors. They know a lot. I mean, they've been through this process with hundreds of students mm -hmm. and should really listen to what they say. But I think even more importantly is that I really, really encourage students to really reflect on this and think about why they want to do this. Why do they want to go to medical school? And make sure it's right for them. I know mm -hmm. too many students who in their fourth year, fourth year of medical school are questioning whether or not it was the right decision. Med school is hard. It's hard. So you have to know that this is truly what you want. Mm -hmm. And if it is, good luck because it is the most fun four years. <laughs> I loved med school. <laughs> I really had so much fun. Um, so much fun I didn't want to leave. No, uh, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a tremendous opportunity and a tremendous honor and a privilege to go to medical mm -hmm. school. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. good luck. It's amazing. Excellent. Dr. Doesn't leave much thought? more to be said. I, I think you know you've heard it. Work hard. Uh, go with that passion. Apply when you're ready. Uh, but also, don't be discouraged. If it's for you, then do it. Uh, and um, but you know, final reminder. You know, getting the MD is a means towards an end. Mm -hmm. It's not the end. Right. Not the end. And so right. you know, uh, the applicants should be driving towards whatever mm -hmm. that larger goal yeah. is all about. And sometimes. The MD will get you there, and, and at other times, something else will get you there. Mm -hmm. right. So exactly. it is important to, to appreciate that. Yeah. 